Hi guys and welcome to your daily tower reading for Saturday the 14th of September 2019. It's a pleasure to be with you today because we have a full moon in Pisces on the 14th. I have chosen to use the Tarot of a Moon Garden. It's a deck I don't really use very often. Have a look at the video that I made on the full moon in Pisces. It goes into more detail. When the moon is full, it releases its energy and it showers us, in this case, with Pisces energy. And we really feel it quite strongly. If you want to know what area of your life this full moon happens in then look at the monthly readings because so the monthly for Aries or Sagittarius or Taurus because the monthlies are based on the sun signs and they tell you what house the full moon falls into so for instance if the full moon in Pisces falls into your fifth house of romance then you're going to do everything for the one you love and you're going to be self-sacrificing and you're going to be patient and loving and kind. If it's in your ninth house, then you'll want to know about spiritual things and give yourself over to those. So the cards are saying we've got strength. Then we have the three of pentacles and the two of pentacles so this is kind of saying that vulner there's strength and vulnerability because we're making ourselves truly truly vulnerable and we're getting naked today as far as the full moon energy is concerned because pisces is the last sign of the zodiac it's the it's the kind of spiritual, natural, instinctual connection with the flow of life that Pisces has, that it kind of strips away any artifice and it just aligns you with what is. So during this day, you're going to be exposed to yourself. And you may feel like you're exposed to other people. I don't know if you've ever been in a situation like this, but you have been in a room full of people, for example, and you've just had a negative thought about a couple of people and a really horrible thought about like 20 people in the room, a group of people or something. And you feel like your head is invisible and people can see what you're thinking. That is not good, first of all. If you're having that a lot, then um, go check with your doctor because that's not normal. But um, it sometimes feels like that to everyone, that if we're, if we're saying something negative or thinking something negative, it's like, oh, they're going to they're gonna find us, you know? So it takes strength or overhear us or be offended and retaliate. So getting in touch with your true self, looking at yourself and um, looking at other people and being really forgiving of yourself and other people and looking at your flaws and your strengths and everything about you, that takes strength. It takes strength to see yourself for who you truly are. That seeing... And it, it doesn't show you who you are in a nasty way. You know, it's the difference between um, tough love and going to see a therapist. Today, what's revealed to you is who you are, the butterflies that you kind of create. So the wonderful artistic things that are eternally in you, the things that frighten you. Um, it also represents... Um, I don't know what this is. The fish or something? I thought it was a, an, a, a baboon to begin with. Anyway, so it takes strength to look at all of that. And um, it gives you the strength in a Pisces version, which is very nurturing and caring and 
gentle. So it's saying, okay, you know, you are codependent sometimes, but it's okay because you can do this and this and this about it. If it was a full moon in Virgo, the self analysis would not be so gentle. It would be like, you're rubbish at this. This is not good enough. That gets a fail. It's really, really harsh. Whereas this is a, is a soft kind of revelation and small kind of opening into real truths. So if there are things about yourself that you haven't been able to face yet, or if you have gone to see a therapist and you haven't been able to make the breakthrough yet, today is a great day where you have the strength to face something that you may have buried deep in your psyche and in your subconscious mind so you never have to think about it again. That may come up today and open up and you can let it go like these three bubbles floating out a window. What this means is the more you know yourself and the more you know other people, the more of an expert you are, the better you can work with yourself, with skill and practice and for and with other people. If you don't know what you can do, what you're good at, whether you're punctual or not, whether you're someone who's who's able to work with others, you don't know that until you have a look at yourself. And today you get a crystal clear view of yourself and it's an exciting opportunity because you may see something in yourself that you've never seen before. You know, it's not all just negative. There may be something really positive that you discover about yourself that you really didn't realize. You've just never tried it. And you try it out and you take to it like a, like a duck to water. You know, like, for instance, how are you going to know if you're good at falconry or not? None of us know until we do it, you know, because it's so random and rare that you don't get a chance to do it very often. Finally, the two of pentacles is someone juggling these pentacles and keeping things afloat. And um, this is the fear that what you're letting go and what you're doing now, which is like the dream and which takes a lot of strength, there's the fear that we have the full moon here again, that you may get bored of it. And what once was a hobby or a fun thing to explore and do now becomes an obligation and you feel like a clown having to keep the um, plates spinning and have to keep everything going simply because you somewhere want to prove your strength to other people so that you don't look weak but you're, you're disrespecting yourself. So if something isn't working for you, then using your, and you hate it, but you just don't want the neighbors to see you falter, and you use your strength to continue with that, then that's not the right way of using this strength. This is supposed to show you what changes you can make, what you're good at, and then when you implement those changes, they ought to be freeing. Remember the bubbles go out the window? So it's meant to free you up in some sort of area of your life that has to do with work or the type of role you do at work. Your daily routine, so what your daily life looks like, whether you're really rich or um, terribly poor or um, you work 60 hours a week, whatever your circumstances may be, tweak those to your liking. If you just see everything as it is, but you just keep it as it is because you don't feel like you have the strength to make changes, then after a while, you'll start to feel a little bit silly about yourself for keeping this going because you don't enjoy it. You need your strength to keep doing it. And it's something that has become a habit and you're just continuing the habit because of what? 
I've done this before, so I'm going to keep doing it. Not really a very good reason, is it, to do something. So it's a great day to contemplate, first of all, to be revealed unto yourself and to contemplate how you can liberate yourself in your daily routine or how you can create a little bit more freedom. You know, it, it, it all, when I do the readings, it all sounds so grand and, and spiritual, but it really isn't. Like making a change to your daily routine means that you um, move house so that instead of a hour and a half commute, you now have a 10 minute commute. And that's as simple as it is. Or making change to your job or your health, what you eat, your physical body, what you look like. Any of that you may be exposed to, look at, see today. So, for instance, if she during the full moon in Pisces suddenly goes, Oh my God, I, I hate my thighs then she's going to do something about that. She's going to say, I'm going to the gym. I'm going to work out these thighs. I'm going to sort them out. And that way I'll be free of some sort of self-hatred. And we've got the moon here. We've got the moon here. And we've got the full moon here. And the moon in astrology is the thing that makes you feel at ease. But in tarot, especially a full moon, is what makes you feel afraid and what isn't clear and where the perspective is off and where you're not quite certain. So simply, really simply, to be honest, just pay attention today. If you have, pay attention today, first of all, because you're going to feel vulnerable, you're going to feel emotionally exposed, you're going to feel like other people can see what you're thinking and feeling. That's obviously not the case, but just be aware that the emotions are going to be heightened because we have so much water. That's the first thing. Second thing is you're going to see yourself in a very, very different light under the light of the full moon. And it allows you to make changes so that your physical, financial, working, life and your health can all benefit and can all be changed. And it's important that by the end of this day, you feel like you need to change something about one of those areas of your life. Otherwise, you're a clown continuing to work at something which absolutely adds no value to your life whatsoever. So today it's about cutting the slack. Where in your life are you working and doing things? Or even is your job appropriate for you? Are you doing things in your life that are just a waste of time? Like you'll see what you're doing and you'll see your your kind of behavior laid out in front of you like a like a clairvoyant image that he sees in his mind it'll you'll feel certain things you'll see certain things you'll just have an awareness of certain things and the butterflies here are about freedom and don't get yourself stuck and liberate yourself in one of the earthy areas of work, health, and daily routine. Number-wise, we've got 8 and 3, that's 11, and 2 is 13. 1 and 3 is 4, and 4 is about security and structure. So there are a lot of things that you're, a lot of plates that you're spinning to keep your life going, Make sure that you get rid of the excess plates that don't need to spin anymore and, and make your life easier and jumble things around and jiggle things around and see what's really the most useful. And don't waste your time on, or for instance, you'll see today that you waste your time on doing something which only pays you $10. You pay six, you spend six hours on that. And then you focus on something that makes you $50 an hour and you only spend one hour doing that. So you're focusing on the wrong thing. If you swap that around, then you'd be in a much better position financially. So it is about creating new structure 
and structure that actually serves you rather than just waste your time. So it's a cleanup process and you can't clean things unless you look at them first. So things have to be illuminated in a certain way by this full moon in Pisces. And that shows up, let's say it shows up certain emotional dirt or um, spiritual or intellectual dirt that doesn't show up any other light under any other light. So it's like, you know, um, that black light they use at crime scenes and they see um, things that the normal eye can't see. So this perspective you get is a particular type of light that shows you a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. It gives you so much information about yourself and that's invaluable that's what we're all after we're all trying to understand ourselves better so that we can work with ourselves so that internally things are positive and happy and that we can manifest good things in our life so use this opportunity to clear things out have th have a look at the um video about the full moon of pisces that um goes into more detail about today have a wonderful day. If you would like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregreescott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. I use astrology, tarot, and numerology in my personal readings, so I can answer any questions you may have. Have an amazing Saturday, and I'll speak to you tomorrow.